long time ago. A long time ago, I stay home Wednesday because I have a doctor's appointment. You got to go see a behavior therapist, Miss Jenna Albright. She works for Linda Gringer. And I went into the family services with Dorothy Holloway, and I go upstairs on the elevator to see Miss Janet Albright. Yep. Yep. We, we're going to Miss Janet Albright's office and work on my behavior. Yep. I went to the doctor because my behavior was unacceptable. We had to put me on some medication. I had behavior problems before. Yep. Girls' magazines, going in the kitchen without permission, getting upset, using bad words, talking back to the staff and spit at staff. You have to put me on medication. When Michael Fagg goes to the day program, he carries a tote bag. He likes to pick up girls' magazines being sneaky. When Michael Fagg goes to the day program, he's not going to carry no more tote bags. From now on, just carries his lunchbox. Lunchbox only. Yep. I remember about that too. My sister Vicky picked me up once a month, just like Richie going out with his daddy once a month. And Norma used to work here, check my sister Vicky out. I was so rude to her, screaming hollering in her face. Hurt her feelings, never apologized to her, never say I'm sorry. My sister Vicky needs to call Greg Carter when I get put out of this group home. I did not get put out, just let it go. I was rude to my sister Vicky and she stopped coming to see me. My sister Vicky is out of the picture. Yep, went to get Michael on medication. Yep, to Mike Valentino from the Gold's Gym staff. To Mike Valentino from the subject. Hello, Mike. You hope as well. Quick note, quick heads up. There's a guy with special needs that who works at the gym, cleans the exercise equipment, treadmills, etc. Throughout the day, there's a guy named Michael as I work out and always keep my eye on him. That he tends to clean the machines near me. Anyway, then over the past several months, Michael's behavior has gotten more and more aggressive as an outburst. When currently I see him walking to behind the treadmills, he kicked the machine and broke it when there's an old lady 65 and over was walking on it and causing her slightly trip. He kicked abundant bicycles, ordering pizzas magazines on his cell phone, stealing things out of the office, throw buckets of water, scream, cuss, hit his head on the wall and broke a window, punch holes in the walls. And today Michael was cleaning the treadmill next to me. He would start beating on the television screen. After that, he pulled the control cable between the television screen and keypad and sliced it in two. And he turned that machine off, and he got the out of order sign for it. And he turned it off to ease it up. He told me he didn't do it. It broke since he was cleaning it. He went outside mind his own business, and I told your brother Pat about the wire broke when I was leaving. I am concerned Mike was doing bad things in his feature by Pat Valentino and Bruce Kirkman, mail of 2008. On someone to do something in his feature. Hey. North Carolina Division of Vocational Rehab Office, Department of Health and Human Services, Progress of You, this report of Progress Tour is going to work. Michael, I received a phone call yesterday from a job coach. Tiffany Rudd started it. You had been terminated from the employer, Gold's Gym. Your termination was due to inappropriate behavior. There had been display on the shoplifting camera when you were at work. On several options, you're responsible for wiping down and cleaning the exercise machines. When observed by management becoming aggressive when doing so. You also became upset when you were at work and damaged the television. The managers at Gold's Gym also said that during this time. You pushed or tampered with the treadmill and broke it where it was used by elderly lady and this caused it to trip and break a leg on the machine. Now, if she decided not to report the matter to Greg Carter or the police. Michael, on the assumptions with scat buses being late. You have been observed to hit yourself in the head while on the floor and act up inappropriately because of this behavior. He has lead to your termination from Gold's Gym. On the privileged jobs, Harris Teeter and Gold's Gym, you have display inappropriate behavior and has lead to your termination from the company. Tiffany Rudd has worked hard with sister monitoring inappropriate behavior when you at work in job development, tests and training. Michael, this is important that you understand that for location employment. At this time, you will be putting your case on hold. During this time, you need to get in touch with your mental health provider as soon as possible. Schedule time for therapy to discuss your behaviors and interactions with others before begin job development again. If you have any questions, please feel contact me at 336-315-2016. Silently, Deanna Pop Edward. Deanna Pop Edward, Cancer Center, mail in 2008. Record time, 3.26 p.m. Kitty cat number. I remember that too. Yep. We had to put Michael on medication. You don't know everything. Irene Street passed away. Irene Street was married to Water Street. And Irene Street got two daughters. 
Evangel Street Slade, Tracy Street Johnson, one brother Freddie Shorts, and two son-in-laws, Kenny Johnson of New York, New Jersey, and Willie Slade Jr. of Greensboro, North Carolina. Grandchildren, Terry Simmons, Monique Mitchell, Demetria Bennett, Paige McClenney, David, Jenny Slade, Willie Slade III, Keisha, great-grandchildren, Benjamin, Dillon, Hillsborough, and Paisley. Irene Street, never retire. Irene Street, spending time for youngest daughter, Tracy Johnson, running the group home, 13 plus years. The funeral will be at Hoggett Funeral Home, 920 East Market Street in Greensboro. Yep. Down at Gold's Gym, we get upset, broke the TV, kicked the lady on the treadmill, almost got arrested, get upset, beat my head against the wall because scat bus is running late, D hurts. Janet Albright put me on medication.